in this uh, video we will talk about one of the passive transport processes that is osmosis we'll write down first definition and then we'll see how this movement takes place and understand what exactly happens in this we define osmosis as movement of solvent particles now when we are using the word solvent that means we are invariably talking of water molecules so it is movement of solvent from the region of its higher concentration its word is very important its higher concentration to its lower concentration across a semi permeable membrane semi permeable membrane till it reaches equilibrium till it reaches equilibrium now this is the definition and what we have to remember here is in this process osmosis it is movement of solvent or water molecule from the region where concentration of water is more to the region where concentration of water is less across a semi permeable membrane that means for this movement uh, this membrane semi permeable membrane is essential and it will take place till it reaches equilibrium because it is a passive transport and passive transport is never 100% so when uh, in both the compartments or both the levels the concentration is same there is no gradient so net movement of the particle is going to stop so this is what happens in osmosis now to understand this say we draw a vessel and this is separated by a semi permeable membrane this is compartment a this is compartment b and both these compartments are filled with water for our understanding let us say here there are 1000 molecules of water and here also we have put 1000 water molecules in compartment a we add 100 salt molecules and here we add 200 salt molecules and we want to know the movement of water will take place in which direction whether it's going to be from a to b or b to a for this we need to know where the concentration of water is more according to our definition movement of water or solvent is going to take place from the region where its concentration is more to the region where its concentration is less in both the compartments the number of water molecules is same but here there are 100 salt molecules so 100 water get associated with 100 salt molecules so basically there are 900 free water molecules because 100 water molecules get associated with this 100 salt molecules in this case 200 water molecules would get associated with this 200 salt molecules so 800 free water molecules would be available now this would give us an idea where water is more in this compartment that is more free water as compared to the b compartment and that is why movement will take place from higher concentration of water to higher concentration or oh sorry to lower concentration of water or according to our definition from the region of its higher concentration to the region of its lower concentration that is why this its is important because here we are talking of movement of solvent now we will modify our definition and write one more in this case we have added salt to water that means we have made a solution in this compartment there is less salt added and in b compartment there is more salt added so if there is less salt it becomes a dilute solution and if there is more salt it becomes 
concentrated solution. So, if we have to modify our definition in terms of solution, then we can say it is movement of solvent from a dilute solution to a concentrated solution across a semi-permeable membrane till it reaches equilibrium. So, this becomes our definition number 2. This was our definition number 1. So, according to this, it is movement of solvent from a dilute solution to a concentrated solution across a semi-permeable membrane till it reaches equilibrium. This part is going to remain the same. So we have defined osmosis in terms of solvent's concentration as well as a dilute or a concentrated solution. Uh, the concentration is also known as tonicity. So if we define this concentration in terms of tonicity, which one is more, which one is less concentrated? This is less concentrated. So we can call it hypotonic. Hypotonic. And the one which is more concentrated is termed as hypertonic. So our third definition in terms of hypo and hypertonic would be movement of solvent particles from a hypotonic solution to a hypertonic solution from hypotonic solution to a hypertonic solution across a semi-permeable membrane till it reaches equilibrium. So now we have three definitions of the same process. In the first case, we have defined it in terms of the solvent itself. And to understand how this movement is taking place, this is the example. In both the cases, the number of water molecules are same, but free water molecules are different. So from the region where free water molecule is more to the region where free molecule is less. So from its higher concentration to its lower concentration. This is the first definition. Now because we have added some solute in it, this becomes a solution. Less solute, dilute solution, more solute, concentrated solution. So second definition is movement of same solvent or water from a dilute solution to a concentrated across the semi-permeable membrane till it reaches equilibrium that remains the same. And concentration is known as tonicity. So if it is less concentrated, it becomes hypotonic. It becomes more concentrated. It is known as hypertonic. So third definition is again movement of solvent or water molecule from a hypotonic solution to a hypertonic solution across a semi-permeable membrane till it reaches equilibrium. And this is important because in this process, the semi-permeable membrane is also essential and it will take place only till it reaches equilibrium. Equilibrium would be when the solvent concentration is going to be same or in both the compartments. So if it is same in both the compartments, we would call it equilibrium. And if it is equilibrium, then there is no net movement. Now here we need to understand what exactly we are talking about, this net movement. Say there are two compartments and the uh, solvent concentration has reached 50-50. That means it has reached equilibrium. So will there be movement of water? The answer is yes. Water molecules will move, but net movement will not take place. This means that if one molecule is moving from compartment A to B, one is moving in the reverse direction. So the number or concentration in two compartments is going to remain same. So movement is going to take place, but not the net movement. That means this uh, concentration in two compartments is going to remain 50-50 and this is what we know or we call as equilibrium. 
That means this is a passive process. More than 50% transport is not possible. So this transport is going to take place only till it reaches equilibrium. So using only one uh, explanation, we have you or uh, we have uh, written three different definitions. One in terms of solvent, second two are second and third are in terms of solution, dilute concentrated and hypo hypertonic. Now we will try to see if we place a cell in these kind of solutions, then what is going to be the behavior of these cells that we will take up in the next part.